Both sides of the Soj. On behalf of the Casa de Soj Bermuda Board, I would like to welcome the Minister of Public Works, Lieutenant the Honorable David Birch, OBE, ED, JP, MP, the Permanent Secretary to the Ministry of Public Works, Mr. Randy Rochester, Representative from the Department of Public Lands and Buildings, Mr. Kofi Aguacadudu, sorry, I must apologize for my pronunciation. Also, we were, we were to have, have the presence of the Premier, but unfortunately he, has been able, he hasn't been able to attend uh, due to an urgent matter. So thank you for, for, for attending, everyone. We also like to welcome Bishop West and Father Julio of the Catholic Diocese, our fellow past and present board members, our donors, Trip Limited Travel Agency, Jose and Debbie Cabral, Joe De Silva, Manny and Nicola Ladown, Bruce Barrett, Natasha and Nelson Medeiros, N Star, Michelle Botello, Anna and Joe Pereira, Cameron Mulder, Evergreen and Pimentel Pools Manuel Pimentel, John Pereira and Danny Fagundo, Richard Correa, Jim Butterfield, Dennis, Octavia Pacheco, and Joe Vieira Trucking. We also would like to welcome our major contractors, JMS General Contractors, Island Construction, Precision LMT, Island Electrical, and After Hours Plumbing. Also, our Renovations Advisory Committee, Joe Amaral, Annual Vieira, Manuel Batallo, and Chris, Chris Davies. We unfortunately weren't able to invite all of our membership due to the COVID restrictions, so, but we do hope they're all watching us live because we did send them an invitation on our, on our Facebook page. We, we hope to um, share this um, new experience with you in the future when we're all finished all the renovations. Now I would ask Minister Birch if he could say a few words. Good afternoon. Let me apologize in advance for my Portuguese, but I'm going to make an attempt at it. I'm honored to be here this, again for the roof wedding of the Casa de Acores. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Community Center located here in Admiralty Park in, in North Shore, Pembroke. Founded on March 10, 2015, uh, the organization was Um, Casa de Acordes Bermuda Limited, which translates to House of the Azores Bermuda Limited, had the initial designation of the Friends of the House of the Azores Bermuda Limited. The charity is responsible for promoting and carrying out activities that celebrate Azorean culture and promote its history with the Bermudian community so that we all can understand who they are where they come from, and the contributions they have made to our society. Many will know that the history of the Portuguese in Bermuda goes back several years. The oldest confirmed record of Portuguese arriving in Bermuda was in 1849, when 58 men, women and children arrived from Madeira, which is located near the Azores. I need to, like I need to tell you that. <laughs> However, possibly the earliest signs of humans in Bermuda are the initials carved into a rock located in Spittle Pond. Originally believed to be from Spanish sailors, it has now become known as Portuguese rock and indicates that Portuguese sailors were once shipwrecked on the island in 1543. In any event, since they arrived in Bermuda, the Portuguese community have made Bermuda their home while promoting and preserving the heritage and history of the Azorean culture and educating the wider community on the contributions of Azorean descendants to our country. And so I'm pleased that we are all here today to acknowledge the progress being made in bringing your new home to fruition. I'm certain that once the facility is completed, the contributions of the Portuguese community will expand even further. Thank you. Our charity, Casa de Sur de Bermuda, charity number nine, shows is that celebrating the melting pot of cultures in Bermuda 
and paying homage to the beautiful differences in our, all of our traditions is a crucial aspect to uniting all of Bermuda's people. It was and continues to be extremely important to the founders of our charity and now has become an intrinsic part of our mandate that all of Bermuda's people appreciate each other's history and hardships and learn to come together notwithstanding all of the differences and learn to celebrate each other, understanding who we are today and recognizing and celebrating where we all came from. Casas de Sur de Bermuda, English translation House of the Azores, is the Azorean community of Bermuda's contribution towards this. And as part of our mandate since the formation of our charity, it has been a dream to establish a community center open to all of Bermuda's people where all of Bermuda can come and learn and celebrate the cultural customs, the history and traditions of the Azorean community of Bermuda, one step closer to the inclusion and meeting our mandate. In addition, as the founders of the charity appreciated that the Azorean community is only a small, small part of Bermuda's people, we have made it part of our mandate to support other local charities on the island that benefit all of Bermuda's people from our, round phase, from our fundraising efforts, regardless of their race or cultural origins. Therefore, for the last five years since the date of our formation, we have made it and continue to, will continue to make financial donations to other nonprofit organizations in need from our fundraising efforts. At events such as Casas de Sur de Bermuda's Portuguese Donut Stalls, the, our famous Malasadish, at Harbor Nights, at the annual agriculture exhibition, the St. George's Town Walkabout, and Linda's Devonshire, and others. We have joked around that we will fundraise one Malasada at a time. In the past five years, we have made donations to the following Bermuda charities the Bermuda Diabetes Association, Tomorrow's Voices Bermuda Early Autism Intervention Center, Gina Spence Productions, each, reach one, each one to the back to school campaign to assist in purchasing of school uniforms and equipment for children in need, SCARS, Friends of Hospice, Age Concern, the Coalition for the Protection of Children, Feed the Children Breakfast Program, Out Bermuda, the Children's Portuguese School of Bermuda After School Program, and the Feast of Santa Cristo of, of Miracles through the Portuguese Roman Catholic Church of Bermuda. Our current project of renovating the property will house our center, is a, that will house our center is a large undertaking. And we have had to carry out extensive renovations to the building since it was a quite old and not in compliance with existing building codes for a commercial building of today, which it has been designated due to our planned use of the premises. So it has been pretty much new everything in order for it to meet our planned uses of the property. This project is a very large commitment for the charity, but we are so very excited to, for the center to reopen and be fully functioning and are counting down the days until it opens and we will yeah, enable us to fully carry out our mandate and be open to, to share with us all of Bermuda. The charity is actually part of a worldwide organization called in English, the World Council of the Houses of the Azores. We have 14 sister houses around the world, including a few in different provinces and states in Canada, the US, Brazil, Uruguay, and mainland Portugal. Our, our, our house held the presidency of the World Council last year and hosted a two-day General Assembly in Bermuda in October of 2019. Representatives from 13 of the houses of the Azores attended along with the Secretary of Foreign Affairs and the Azorian government and five Azorian parliament ministers. When the president of the Azores was, in, was last in Bermuda for the Portuguese 170th anniversary celebrations, he and the Arnold Premier inaugurated the charity center, but we could not keep it open thereon as the building had asbestos and, and some holes issues and our renovations had to be addressed before it was fully functioning and could reopen for its full use. We do thank the Bermuda government very much for entering into this partnership with us and giving us the opportunity to be able to share our culture with all of Bermuda. We have so many exciting plans for the center once, at, once it opens. We will organize activities in the center that will be open to everyone, including arts and crafts shows, demonstrating and teaching Azorian arts and crafts, a library of Portuguese and English Portuguese books, a genealogy program to assist those tracking back their roots, music workshops promoting the teaching of playing of musical instruments such as the Azorian acoustic guitar and the accordion, events promoting the gastro gastronomy of the Azores, Azorian foods, including demonstration classes for adults and for um, and youth, cultural dinners, family days, barbecues, center celebrating Azorian, centered around ce celebrating Azorian music, dance, and theater, teaching of, of the Azorian Portuguese conversational language for adults, as there is a huge desire in adults in Bermuda to learn the language, especially as many of those didn't get the opportunity to learn as they were growing up, 
And this can also be really useful to you, Minister. And you can, Azores would be like a sword trip, no problem. <laughs> 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 Movie evenings, teas, and, and talks promoting the Azorian Bermudian culture and history in Bermuda. Activities for middle age population and above, such as teas and bingo. Continue with the establishment of youth program, encouraging youth to celebrate culture and diversity, and have a place where the youth can go to that is safe and provides positive activities. Community exercise classes, and even a location to hold informative sessions to assist in dissemination of information between the Azorian and Portuguese governments and Bermuda with the Bermudian community. And there's so many more ideas that we have and hopes that we have for the center. But of course, they will also continue to include the fundraising activities to support our mandate of helping other charities in need in Bermuda. Our charity also hopes to play a role in assisting the Bermuda and Azorian governments in really exploring and sharing similarities between all of our islands in the form of exchanges that could be beneficial to both Bermuda and the Azores, including that of marine biology and energy research and education through the University of Azores, which has a top-rated research program. Tourism education, as the Azores has a well, very well-known tourism school, which the Bermuda College could potentially enter into partnerships with to benefit Bermudian students, and assisting in the development of tourism contacts in the Azores and Bermuda to assist in promoting Bermuda in the Azores and the European industry, as Azores has a huge European tourism following. And there's just so much more potential. There, that could be... There is so much more potential that could be extremely beneficial, not only to the Azores and our Azorian community in Bermuda, but also Bermuda as a whole. Today is therefore, in conclusion, you'll be happy to hear, a very special occasion, which will, which, one which will bring us one step closer to being able to fully fulfill our mandates and really promote and unite the relationship between Bermuda and the Azores and all of its peoples. We look forward to the full reopening and welcoming everyone on the island to the Casa to the Sush Community Center which will open to all of us. As they say, mi casa es su casa. Thank you. So I think that we will proceed and um, do the roof wetting. We will give some, um, everyone a little time to get outside. It will be on, here on, on, the, on the left. Um,